everyone, it's been a while uh, that I've posted on the channel, but last weekend I went to the seaside here in the UK um, and I found those oyster shells on the beach, so they've been pretty washed down, so they don't look like actual, they look like they've been in the water for a while. Um, but I thought, because I'm in the process of renovating my house and decorating my house, I thought, how lovely would it be to make some candles in them? Um, so I kind of like looked for some that were shallow enough to hold some wax, but first we're going to clean them and pour them. They're not going to be meant to be lit for a long time. They're not going to be meant to be performance candle. They're very, gonna, they're very much going to be, um, decorative candles. So yeah, let's do it together. I've never done it before. I've seen some people that have done it, but I could not find like a good video about it. So Let's make one. Let's go. So first thing first, we're going to clean them. So I'm just going to add a drop of fairy liquid into some warm water and just put some um, washing gloves just because they might be a bit sharp. So I just don't want to make to make sure that I don't cut myself. Um, in the process, I'm going to use a hard bristle brush. I'll put the link in the description below. And yeah, so I'm just gonna give it a swirl. So it's not soapy as much. It's just distort. Just want to clean the sand. You can see that some of them have some some sand left in them. So it's just gonna drop them in there and just give them a good clean. You want to use the brush, so the bristle are gonna go and just like get everywhere. Um, you probably wouldn't be able to achieve that. Um, with another, like with a regular sponge, uh, this is really nice to have the bristle to help you out. Um, I had a think about it and I don't think I'm going to keep the natural aspects. Um, I'm going to make them gold. So I got some spray paint, uh, metallic spray paint, and once they're clean and dry, we are going to spray them. Got to rinse it and change the water, clear it out, and dry them. All right, a little soak. So I move that side just to be able to spray paint this. Hopefully, not going to be making a mess. I know I will make a mess. So this is what I'm using. I got it off Amazon, so I'll put the link in. Right, here we go. For round two. Okay, now we wait and let it dry. We have one natural and four gold shell. So I'm just going to put some paper underneath, but I've got five. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my stick and I'm using TCR 24. It's a bit of a random one because they all have different shapes. And again, they are not going to be made to sell. So please don't use this as a guideline. I'm not going to test burn them and they would not be fit to be sold. So if you do want to sell something similar, make sure you do your own testing and that you um, are 100% sure that they are safe to burn. Because even if you sell them as decorative, some customer will always try and burn them. And it's your responsibility to make sure that they are safe again i'm not going to try to burn mine or just for a couple of seconds to take a nice picture but um probably not further than that so i've just melted some wax in my double boiler i'm gonna wick the shells 
and we're gonna pour them look at how this it kind of like defined the texture even further uh, so I'm quite digging it um, this one is actually lovely it's gonna be really hard to pour I might need something to um, to keep it straight okay we're back so I've also kept one natural that I'm gonna pour like this just to show the difference so I'm gonna go ahead and stick my wigs this is gonna be tricky because obviously it's not a plain flat surface so you have to aim for where you want to go and then just you know go for it and you might need, you might need to go in there with your finger to almost like make sure that it adheres fully this one I'm gonna go also right in the center okay in there with this one because my plan is not to make them stand well at least in my um in the way i want to decorate i'm not gonna have them sit like this i'm gonna put them in sand probably like in a in a tray so yeah i just want to make sure that i get the best possible shape i'll be back when we're ready to pour So you need to be super careful. Obviously the shape of them means that the fill is gonna be different in terms of how much wax you can get in. Um, this is why I didn't melt a lot of wax because depending on how, see this one is already leaking on the side. So it's a case of maybe finding something to go under it and um, maybe playing a little bit level so I can get maybe a bigger feel. Mm, it's gonna be tricky. There we go, we can try a little bit more, but it's gonna be... There we go, okay. That's it. one is getting in up oh, here we go yeah super careful in how much you can feel them because they are gonna overspill very easily we use very uncertain shape and this is why they're pretty as well you know so this is why it's going to make it special. It is going to look, with in the gold one, it is going to look like there's an oyster in there because of the white color of the wax. This one, I'm barely going to be able to make. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to try, but it might not be my best idea here. I'm literally going and doing drops try again for the people just joining i'm not gonna sell those they're just gonna be used as decor in my house so i'm not looking for like perfection it's more like a lovely nice diy but hey you know it's not because it's not for sale that we can't try to do our best so here we go that's it i'm just gonna keep an eye on those wicks and let them cool down. Right, here we are, I've trimmed the wick and light them just to see how they look. They look really, really pretty. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with this. 
they cost almost nothing to make and it's quite pretty here obviously i'm not going to light them for long they're not meant to be burned but i thought i'd share them with you i hope you did enjoy that diy um with me i will think of some more please leave me your comment below and if you do make them tag me i would love to see them bye